Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I'm Architect Web V and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So in this video, we are going to be discussing about the question bank on climatology. If you haven't the part one wherein we have done the introduction of the topic, part two wherein we discussed about zonal distribution climates of India. So please go give it a watch and then watch the question bank video. So now let us start. Starting with the first question, which of the following is the primary drivers of Earth's climatic system? So the correct answer for that is B, solar radiation. Then question number two, what term describes the long term average of weather patterns over a significant time? So the answer for that is climate. Then the third question, which layer of the atmosphere contains the ozone layer? So the stratosphere B is the correct answer. Then fourth question, what is the main greenhouse gas responsible for the global warming? So carbon dioxide is the correct answer for this. Talking about the fifth question, which of the following is an effect of El Nino? So the correct answer is decreased rainfall in the Southeast Asia. Sixth question, what is the term for a significant rise in the average temperature of Earth's climate system and it is related to global warming? So I am giving all the answers here only so that you will be able to summarize them later on. Now, seventh question, different layers of atmosphere are given below, which one is the correct order from the Earth? So we have to start from the lowest level to upper level. So the correct answer for that is troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Okay. The dash lies above the mesopause and is a region in which temperature increases with height. So the correct answer for that is thermosphere. Okay. Then the ninth question, atmospheric pressure generated on the earth's surface is due to, it is due to the gravitational force of earth okay so c is the correct answer then which climatic zone is characterized by very low annual precipitation and extreme temperature so the answer for this 10th question is arid okay then 11th question how is the climate of jammu and kashmir so the climate of jammu and kashmir is cold and cloudy whereas of leh ladakh mount abu these are cold and sunny okay 12th question, which climatic factor is crucial for the design of buildings in regions with frequent seismic activities? So the answer is earthquake resistance. Okay. Now discussing about the 13th question, in cold climates, what design feature can help capture and utilize solar energy for heating? So the correct answer is south facing windows. Okay. 14th question. How does the concept of thermal insulation contribute to energy efficiency in architecture? So by minimizing heat gain or loss through building materials. Okay. 15th question. What is the purpose of a climate responsive facade in architectural design? So to adopt changing weather conditions for energy efficiency. Okay. Then answering 16th question, in regions with extreme temperature, what type of roofing material is commonly used for its insulating properties? So metal because it is a reflective material. Okay. 17th question, how can architects utilize landscaping to mitigate the urban heat island effect? So the answer for this is planning more trees and green spaces in the planning or any design. 18. Which climatic factor is most important in designing energy efficient heating system for buildings? So the correct answer for 18 is solar radiations. Okay. In tropical climates, what design feature is effective in promoting natural ventilation while providing shade? B is the correct answer. Then 20. How does the concept of thermal mass contribute to energy efficiency in building okay so the correct answer for 20 is by stabilizing indoor temperatures question number 21 which architectural element is designed to redirect prevailing winds away from a building 
So the correct answer is wind breaks. Okay. Question number twenty-two. What is the purpose of wind turbine in architectural design? So the correct answer for twenty-two is to generate electricity. Okay. Which building material is known for its ability to absorb and release heat slowly, contributing to passive heating? So the correct answer for twenty-three is brick. Then in coastal areas prone to hurricanes what architectural features helps to protect buildings from storm surges so the elevated foundations helps them to protect from the storm surges then what is the primary purpose of a living wall in architectural design to improve indoor air quality okay how does the selection of building materials impact the carbon footprint in a structure so the correct answer is it influences the energy efficiency of building okay then what is the purpose of wind scoop in architectural design so the correct answer for question number 27 is to facilitate natural ventilation then 28th question how does the design of buildings envelope impact its energy efficiency so the correct answer is by controlling heat transfer between the interior and exterior okay then 29th question which design strategy is effective for minimizing heat gain in building during summer months so the correct answer is using reflective surfaces then 30th question in arid regions what architectural features helps capture and utilize water efficiently so the correct answer is rain water harvesting systems now what is the natural phenomena called as seen in the image so it is known as northern lights or auroras okay in which climate pergola with creepers are used for extra shading from summer sunlight is it hot and dry warm and humid moderate or composite so in composite climate 33 in which region this given type of construction is done the answer is hot and dry in region with high humidity what design feature helps prevent moisture related issues in building so the correct answer is skylight okay then how does the concept of daylighting contribute to the sustainable architecture so the answer is c by optimizing natural light within a building what are the building characteristics of hot and dry climate so the courtyards along with the trees and small water body are the building considerations for hot and dry weather what is the temperature of tropical region in summers during night so the correct answer is 20 to 30 degrees in cold and cloudy region wind velocity expected can be low occasionally intense cold intense winds or moderate winds it is very simple cold intense winds question number 39 in which region the building design should have high ceiling room to reduce heat by providing shading so in moderate climate okay question number 40 in regions with extreme temperatures variations between day and night what strategy is beneficial for energy efficiency so the correct answer is by using thermal mass materials okay so these were all the questions for your climatology uh, i hope you found the video helpful and if you do you know the drill please like comment share and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video till then please take care and subscribe thank you for watching